근데 사람이 많이 줄었네. 옛날부터. 다 드라폰 노래. 정해 외모가 나 something is formed on the surface of something else. Right? Yeah, just like it's like that. There is uh, some solid mineral and some uh, some sediment and some chemical is attached on this surface. Yeah, there is absorption. And during this uh, situation also the coefficient uh, is very important, the partitioning coefficient. Yeah, just to think about the, the deep ocean sediment. Uh, this 
is the ocean, and on the ocean, uh, there is lots of soy mineral. Uh, did you heard about sodium momorelonite or elite? Yeah, this is kind of the soy minerals. Uh, and let's think about this is the uh, some glucose. Glycine and uh, some, any other chemicals in the ocean, they want to attach here. Or uh, already some chemicals attach it into uh, this soy mineral, yeah, uh, but they can be also detached from here. And this uh, process is <coughs> affected by the uh, coefficient uh, of the absorption. Yeah, so, yeah, just to keep the memory, this KD is defined as like this. The sea solid and sea water. This is the water. And this is the solid. Yeah, same meaning. And also, uh, it should be um, considered the, the fraction of organic matter, uh, like this. Uh, this glucose, uh, if in the water, uh, glycine is the ppm. Yeah. And glycine is the 10 ppm. Each chemical has their own fraction in the uh, water. So it should be considered to calculate more correctly about the uh, absorption. So this KOM is defined as uh, FOM over KD. Yeah, KD was this one. And this FOM is the organic matter fraction in the water. Yeah. And also, uh, this one was yeah, K. A uh, logo KOM is there described uh, like this 0.82 low KOW plus 0.14. Yeah. You should keep the memory also. Yeah. Already, uh, lots of researchers reveal uh, these equations. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the process, yeah, there are a lot of some equations to review this one. Yeah, but uh, there was some uh, omit, omit. Yeah. So we can just conclude and use this one. Yeah. If you are really interested how to this equation can be out, yeah, I uh, recommend you to find out some reference uh, from the textbook. Yeah. At the last page of the textbook deal with uh, some lepers. Yeah. So yeah, maybe they can be uh, important information for you. And uh, this is the water air transfer. Yeah. Maybe same system. You uh, you got a lecture about the Halley's low constant. So, Arika, could you explain what is the Halley's law constant? Yeah, just to show you <laughs> your idea. No, Kogat. <laughs> Kogat? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. And who will help Avika? Yeah, someone, someone can explain their Halley's law constant. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's sir. Mm, some relations between the, the air pressure and the water, water saturation. 
Yeah, just to think about uh, the vapor pressure over some chemicals, and this in the, in the water, sea saturation. Uh, if some chemicals vapor pressure is high, uh, this chemical is dissolved well in the water, like yeah. The vapor pressure is high, or uh, uh, it can be dissolved well in the water. Yeah, so the relationship is the uh, the helicity of constant. Yeah. So this H helicity constant was the the CW saturation and the pressure. Yeah. So that means HCW is the PL. Yeah. There is uh, some uh, linear proportion. The pressure is higher. The saturation is also higher. Yeah. That was Halley's law constant. Yeah. So uh, in this section, uh, we'll talk about the, the water air transfer. Yeah. And yeah, you can see this F here. F means the, the flux between the water and air. And it can be defined like this. V total means the, the velocity. Velocity of the, some compound from water to air. And the velocity of compound from air to, uh, air to water. So V total is uh, yeah, like this. This is the definition. Yeah, V total is the <coughs> summation of the V W and the V air. So V W means the, the compound uh, velocity in the water side, and the V A is the the air, air velocity. Uh, just to keep the memory. And yeah, think about the flux. Uh, you already know the, the fluid mechanics. The definition of the flux. Yeah, is yeah. Less thing. Uh, this is the in, and this is the out. Uh, if something is in, it means the flux. Yeah, like this. Yeah, this is the system. Uh, system. In. So we can say in the system the flux is A was input, so this is the plus, and B was out, so this is the minus. So the flux can be defined like this, A minus B. Yeah, input is plus, and output is the minus. Yeah, so you can see uh, this C water the chemical's concentration in water, yeah, uh, it works in, yeah, so this is the C uh, plus, and yeah, from water, some particles can be out, so this is the minus. Yeah. But uh, why there is a H value here, H prime? You know there's some uh, difference? between the, this H and H prime? What is the difference? A little question. This one is the uniqueness. <coughs> yeah, so there is no union. I T over H means the H prime. So uh, there is no unit for this H prime. And as you can see, uh, between the, the water and the air phase, uh, it should be related with A. So, yeah, uh, it can be used to only the sea water, but for the sea air, uh, it should be with H prime. Yeah, it's like that. 
just to change their sight. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess it. Not sure what it is. Who won it? Okay. Uh, I will uh, surely explain in Korean and uh, explain you again. Yeah, you can. Yeah, sorry for that. 아, 그러니까 이게 헬리스로 콘스탄트가 이렇게 이제 정의가 되는데, 그렇죠? 헬리스로 콘스탄트 이렇게 정의가 되고 이렇게 되면 단위가 원래 뭐가 나오냐면은 이제 그 ATM이고 이게 몰이니까 얘는 이제 ATM 퍼 몰이라는 단위를 갖고 있는 애인데 우리가 이제 IT라는 걸로 이게 이제 이상 기체 상수고 이게 절대 온도잖아요. 이걸로 나누게 되면은 단위가 없어지겠죠. 단위가 이제 없어지게 되는 이 h 프라임을 사용을 하게 될 거예요. 근데 이제 <웃음> 여기서는 c 워터는 그냥 단순하게 물의 이제 농도고 이 c 에어랑은 근데 단위 값이 좀 틀릴 거예요. 그러니까 단위 값이 아니라 그 헬리스로 콘스탄트랑 연결이 된 값이기 때문에 여기서도 이제 보면 알겠지만 에어 상태에 있는 거를 헬리스로 콘스탄트로 나눠줘야 이제 이 물에 있는 농도를 우리가 어, 도출을 할수 있는 거기 때문에 이제 저런 식으로 쓰여진 거고 그 농도하고 이 벨로시티 그러니까 어떤 농도를 갖고 있는 게 얼마만큼의 속도로 가느냐가 일종의 플럭스를 결정을 하는 거기 때문에 이 플럭스를 이제 저런 식의 식으로 표현을 할수 있다 이게 이제 핵심이 되는 거고요 무슨 소리인지 알겠어요? 그 다음에 이제 그이 시스템이 이제 어떤 이퀼리브리엄 상태에 있다. 평형 상태가 있다라는 소리는 인풋이랑 아웃풋이 똑같다는 소리잖아요. 그렇죠? 그래서 이제 전체적으로 플럭스가 0이 돼야 된다. 0이 되려면 이제 이 안에 얘 빼기 얘가 0이 돼야 0이 될 거니까 그렇게 되면은 C 워터랑 이 H 프라임 분의 C 에어가 같다. 네, 이런 의미가 이제 된다라는 거예요. 오케이, 컴백 투인 잉글리쉬. Yeah, I just explained it for you more in a detail. Yeah. I will give you lecture in detail, <laughs> individually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, as I already told, this uh, V total is the, yeah, uh, can be <coughs> described like this. Uh, 1 over VW and 1 over VAH prime. And yeah, some researchers uh, find out there is uh, some relations. Uh, okay, I'll move. Yeah, just to think about there, some particles are is visual or they're. Yeah, this is also affected by wind. So, 
Yeah, this equation means the relation between wind velocity and the, the particle's velocity. So VA is, can be defined like this. And uh, VW also can be defined like this. This uh, small u is the wind's velocity. Yeah. So that means you also uh, keep the memory this formula for your equation. So yeah, okay. Uh, let's have some example for your information. Yeah, let's walk through an example. Mm. The consider the paradiclop engine, DCB. Yeah, you know what is the paradiclop engine? In a benzene ring, the chlorine is attached. Yeah, like this. Benzene. Mm. And chlorine is attached. This is the DCB. <coughs> yeah, it was used as uh, the toilet this pack. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, this compound is dissolved in the, this um, lake. Yeah, you can see the, this data. Yeah, per lake purity in Switzerland. Uh, this compound is now in the, the lake. And uh, you can see this is M is the molecular weight. Molecular weight. Uh, so and maybe it's similar. It has uh, the six carbon and two the chlorines. And maybe here is the H. Yeah, if you calculate, it is uh, similar with the 146 gram per mole. And uh, the pressure, uh, this state, this is the lake. And here is the DCB. And the, the air pressure is the 1.34. And the CW saturation, uh, saturation concentration means the, the maximum uh, concentration when this DCV is dissolved well in water. The maximum value is the yeah. The same meaning. And the CW, yeah, this is the set maximum value. And CW is the real value. In this state, or if its concentration in this lake is the only for this. And uh, yeah, as I already told, there is uh, some wind <coughs> uh, there above the, this interface. The wind's velocity is the 2.3 meter per second. Yes, so the problem is <coughs> yeah, uh, problem is the how can we calculate uh, the Halley's law constant and the velocity of the particles in air, the velocity of particles in water, and yeah, finally <coughs> we can uh, calculate the flux. Okay, let's see together. Yeah, as you can see, it was the definition of the Halley's law constant. So, CW saturation. Uh, P1 over CW saturation, so P1 was the 1.3 torr, but it should be uh, converted as an ATM. Yeah, so 
uh, the 1 ATM is same with the 760 tool. So yeah, it is combust, uh, combusting. And this CW saturation was the, yeah, this one. So uh, we got a 3.23 ATM liter combos. This is the helicro constant for this system. And as I already told you, uh, this H prime is the IT, uh, HC over IT. So uh, R is the, the ideal gas constant. So 0 0.082 liter ATM. And the T, uh, maybe in this situation, uh, 288. That means the 15 Celsius degree. Yeah. Right? 15 Celsius degree. So, yeah, as you can see, there is no unit for this H prime. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And let's see the VA. VA was the, yeah, equation was like this. Uh, 0.2 U, U was the, this wind velocity. And this large M is the, the molecular weight of this compound, DCB. So it should be the M is the, yeah, 146. Uh, and you can see there is 18, uh, 18, uh, because this uh, velocity of air uh, is uh, uh, influenced by the water. So water's molar weight is the 18. Right? Yes, so here is 18. And uh, here is the solid 2. What is the so solid 2? Which has a molecular weight of solid 2? Which? What? Yeah, light. So this VW is affected by the oxygen. So here is solid 2. And here also has a large M, small u. Yeah, so just input the data here. Velocity and this molecular weight of PCB. Here also. So you got a uh, calculation measured for VA and VW. <coughs> and also input the, uh, this calculated value to get a V total. Yeah. Uh, so it was the, like this. So you got a V total. And you remember. The flux is uh, <coughs> flux is the here. Yeah, flux is the V total with that uh, kind of concentration. But if you assume uh, there is very small impact by the air, yeah, it's like uh, in the air there is a very uh, small portion of particles. So <coughs> we can be uh, ignored. It can be ignored. So uh, if, if yeah, you can see there is no air term. Only there is the CW. Yeah, so as you can see, V total was here. V total and CW was the 10 nanogram per liter. So there is 10 nanogram per liter. And this is the converting, converting unit. So yeah, this is the final leisure for this lake. <coughs> uh, that means 102 nanogram yeah, So. This is the lay, huge lay. But yeah, if we, yeah, this is the one meter and one meter. During one hour, yeah, 102 nanograms of DCB is the, uh, there is uh, some partitioning between the water and this air. Yeah. This is the minimum. Yes. 
So maybe this is your homework. This will be your homework. Yeah. 그 보통 숙제 어떻게 내셨어? 이건 안 해야 돼. 아 이건 안 해야 돼. 저도 안 해야 돼. <웃음> <웃음> 
areas then term the volume means area depths yeah. and <coughs> about yeah finally the plug sister input here right and flow is input here and this V is go to here and finally the flux is the the V total and C so it can be here so in summarize the two one is the E we total A and then two C A C average. This P average means like this there was a lake. And as you can see, under the lake the depth is different. But uh, the average depth is the the average. So you can remove C and A. So only left this equation. Maybe it seems important. So keep the memory. So in case of DCV in like three, you uh, you already know this V total and Ln2 is the constant value and D average uh, maybe from this yeah, the average depth of 50 meter so they use the this 50 meter here so I think uh, that's all for today is there any question? your question? Uh, but uh, I should do 10 minutes more mm -hmm. You wanna go? Mm. <laughs> okay. I'll be like you go. Yay. Wow. What's in there, yes, sir? Yeah, what's in there, yes, sir? Cool, I could get it. Okay, we're good. 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 Okay,